It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the Honest Athletes podcast with Lauren and Hannah. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how y'all knew that y'all wanted to start the podcast and talk with athletes? Yeah, so the, the podcast originally started with the first series or two series. I started it with uh, another athlete double Olympic silver medalist Jazz Carlin and then Hannah joined us a little bit later on and it was started just because I love to chat to people and Covid had hit people were listening to things more there was a bit more time and I just thought with maybe knowing so many interesting people in the swimming world to start with that we could have some really interesting and you know educational conversations that maybe people weren't talking about or people could learn from just my conversations, really. So it started just because I enjoy chatting to people, learning about people's stories and just kind of, you know, finding out what other athletes felt or coaches or parents or talking about my own experiences, really, um, along with Hannah and Jazz and just having a bit of something to do during COVID, really. So, yeah. Yeah. Of course, Lauren, how did you come up with the name of the podcast, The Honest Athlete? I remember sitting down with someone who I used to swim with um, when I was swam at Manchester. I swam at Manchester for 10 years and then stopped off for three. And we both came to both programs. And I was chatting, saying that I wanted to start a podcast because originally I did a live series on my Instagram called The Call Room. And I had this swimmer on, she was called Brianna, and I was like, I want to start a podcast. And she, we, we kind of discussed the idea and we, we were like, well, we want it to be honest. We want people to be honest that come on and it's going to mainly be athletes. We're athletes. So why don't you just call it that? Keep it really simple. And so we kind of just went from there, really. I, I'd love to say there was this like really a special moment where it just came to me, but it didn't I was just having a conversation as I always do really and how did y'all know that y'all wanted to interview athletes um I think it just the way that it evolves and it's not just athletes I think Lauren kind of hit upon the point that it's the you know the that people tell and it's what current topics and interests I think the community of sport need um so as well as athletes we've talked to parents We've talked to coaches, we've talked to parents who are coaches as well, balancing and managing coaching your own kids on the team. There's been nutritionists, there's been health uh, advocates, there's been sports specialists. Um, it's quite a vast variety because I think the, the whole package, you know, as an athlete is that it's, it's more than just the person doing the sport. You have that team behind you and there's more stories behind that um you know you've got like your family support you've got your team support and then the individual components it's not just about performing at your best it's about management of recovery sleep we got swimming especially is one of those sports where performance and peak performance can happen quite young especially when you're at school so balancing school how do you manage that so it's been quite a nice mix because I think it keeps it interesting that it's not just athletes and hearing their sort of success stories. We try and cover as many bases as possible to keep it, as the title says, as honest as possible and as real because um, as awesome and as wonderful it is when you have like some incredible top level athletes coming on board. Um, sometimes it's important to, you know, keep the reality there of the highs, the lows and the in-betweens. Um, so yeah, we kind of follow uh, Lauren's lead with it, and I support it a hundred percent along the way. I offer some, you know, ideas of maybe certain people we can speak to, and yeah, it's just it's, it's a mix. It's not just athletes. You know, how have you been able to use both y'all's background as an Olympian in swimming to help y'all with the podcast? Um, 
I think both of us we're quite friendly people. So I think we've got good networking connections with knowing people from both our careers as swimmers. And I guess when that's it, once we transition from retirement into our kind of, you know, post, uh, post competitive career, um, I've always kind of hugely admired Lauren's uh, sort of ability and just, you know, she gets some, uh, I really, I heard someone say her emotional intelligence is incredible and it's so true picks up on people really, really well, knows how to read people and understands like what's needed. And for me, I kind of, uh, I, I, being up in Scotland as well, Scotland and England can be quite vast, even though we are technically under the GB banner. Um, cultures are slightly different as well. So there's a group of people that I know and work and train with that are maybe in different sports. So I kind of offer, you know, how about speaking to these people? Do you think they'd be of interest? So, you know, we kind of have little, I guess, brainstorming sessions where we work out, you know, what's the kind of key angle for the different seasons or sorry, the different episodes. And, you know, what do you think the sort of audience would, would want to hear? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, what are some of the different segments that you have on the Honest Athletes podcast? Oh, different segments. <laughs> kind of summarize i think in what i've just yeah said. I know. what are the different segments <laughs> Lauren, help me here. Uh, <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah you kind of cover it you've got the athlete segment there's stuff on parents there's stuff on like reflection so our kind of what we've learned in life lessons um i think you you do tend to have kind of little bits of themes of what you want to cover for each of the seasons lauren but um, I think you've not kept it quite strict. You can't. You kind of just go with the flow, which I think for me is quite quite nice because um, you know any life things can happen. You know, look at what happened with COVID. Nobody can predict that. So you know, going with the flow with you know what the current issues or what the current hot topics are. Um, you know, is kind of key. Of course, Lauren. What are some of the topics that y'all have covered on the podcast? Yeah, Hannah, what are the top no joking? So we have um we've done episodes on the menstrual cycle, sport life balance. Um we we've covered even something as simple as uh when Scotland brought in the new rule that younger swimmers can't wear suits under a certain age. That's right, isn't it, Hannah? Yeah. yeah. Um so good job you're here. So um <laughs> but then we just honestly it's because I enjoy just like I said before chatting to people uh, it, it doesn't necessarily have to go a specific way especially if we have a guest it's more more so we do our research but we also just in the moment quite intuitively like to just go with the flow and see where someone's story will take us and and you know the questions we we ask we try to um, ask what people who are listening or who are about to start a sporting journey or something like that how, what they would like us to ask really and and it, it's really relaxed it's it's for no other reason than because we enjoy it we enjoy um learning about people's stories and just putting these episodes out there there's no other there's no other agenda it is just okay how can we get these educational points out there that are really serious or how can we just have a laugh or how can we share our own experiences there's really no, I, I, I'm sorry if this disappoints you, but there's really no set structure. It really is just, let's go with the flow. Of course, Lauren, who are some of the guests that you've had the privilege of interviewing? Wow. Okay. So <laughs> I've got, I've got the episodes in front of me because, you know, there's been quite a fair few, not as many as you, Brandon, but, but, you know, we've done a few. Um, the first series, it was mainly just uh, me and Jazz sharing our own experiences. Uh, we did have Lauren Steadman, someone who I lived with for two years in Lanzarote. She was Paralympic champion and then went on Strictly, which is what we talked about probably more so. So, um, yeah, but uh, that was an interesting one. Liam Tancock, my mum's been on, on the podcast. She was a swimmer for Great Britain, so that was an interesting one. Uh, we had John McAvoy, which, again, incredible. Lucy Charles Barkley, smashing Ironman at the minute. Uh, we had my auntie who swam at the Olympics. Um, we've had uh, Natalie Brown, who was a, a, a gay who we talked to about the menstrual cycle. Uh, but as I said, we've got our own specialist now sat on this podcast with us. Laura Mazzaro, so she's an international squash player, fantastic athlete. Uh, Katie Uzel, who's an athlete well-being uh, kind of person within the British swimming world or just in sport in general. She's fantastic. Jazz Sawyers. She was at the Olympics for triple jump. 
and has just won gold at the is it the European Championships going on now? The World okay. Championships or something yeah. with yeah. athletics? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's done really. She's doing really well there. So, uh, George Taylor Brown, very good friend of mine, uh, Olympic gold medalist. Tom Dean, just I don't just absolutely smashing it in the swimming world. Uh, Olympic gold medalist, Reese Shawnee, someone who both Hannah and I worked with on the GB team. With um, he's a physio. He was a physio. Then the best episode for me, season four, episode one. If you. If not listen to it, go and listen to it. It was the Hannah Miley special just before she joined the podcast. And we've had an Olympic snowboarder, Ben Kilner, Charlene Jones. I think that was one of your favourites, Hannah. Um, yeah. She's a, a Commonwealth cyclist. Emma Vickers talking about athlete transitions. Then the legend, Patrick Miley. I can't not mention it. I'm sorry I'm going through everyone, but I can't miss people out. So we're going to be here a while. Patrick Miley, Hannah Miley's dad, also her coach, a true swimming legend. Frankie Butler, how do you sum that up in a powerful, few words? Very, very powerful um, episode. Uh, yeah, it, it's one of those ones that I think you can't describe it. You, you do have to just listen to it because I think it just puts everything into perspective for you with a, how your own life's going on and what you expect if you're an athlete or not. Just, it's a very, very powerful episode with her. Yes. Um, I couldn't agree more. And then we had Jamie Main, British swimming high performance coach. Sonny Trigg, who is killing it in the swimming world again. Kate Offer, the coach, but also parent of athletes. Fran Halsall, sprint legend. Just love that episode. That was fantastic. Rebecca Guy, British sprinter again, but also just gone into nutrition. Anna Hopkin, current uh, sprint Olympian for Great Britain. Lucy Campbell, who is was the 16th fittest woman on earth, but was a swimmer. And then and the latest episode was Cassie Patton, where we covered some very serious topics. So I can't say that it was my jokey normal self, but we uh, we did cover uh, the sporting culture of weighing athletes was that one and just recently swim england have brought in a new rule that uh, I th I don't, i'm not sure what age it is but younger athletes are no longer allowed to be weighed in uh, in the swimming world so by coaches that is is that that's right isn't it i'm yeah. not I'm butchered that have i hannah no you haven't no you haven't no okay okay i mean you can cut all that out if you want brandon but i couldn't leave someone out so <laughs> Of course, Hannah, starting off with you, who are your, who is your most favorite and notable interview that you've interviewed? Um, for me, the one that stood out the most was Frankie. <laughs> but I do like the conversations that Lauren and I have as well, because <laughs> yeah, because I kind of joined the podcast like not long after I'd retired. So for me, I kind of saw it as an opportunity to help Lauren out because I'd love listening to the podcast and it was really good, fun to listen to and to kind of get asked to do it. I thought, yeah, this could be quite cool. And actually, I found it quite therapeutic and actually really helpful with my transitioning away from competitive sport into life after sport. So actually finding people and talking to them, whether they were current in sport or retired from sport, um, it was quite really helpful for me just to kind of hear their side of the story and their journey and actually take life lessons personally. Um, so for me, there, there was quite a few powerful ones and certainly the one from Frankie Butler stood out for me and also Charlene Jones. She was a track cyclist and um, she had a really severe spinal injury. And then she made it back to the Commonwealth Games and ended up on the podium. And it's, you know, a fantastic bounce back story of what she went through. And also her outlook on life, like she's got a very astute, that sort of transition from being that kind of in the bubble focused athlete to now actually being quite open minded, loves body movement. And for me, what hit home, um, I'm trying to remember the, the quote that she had, it was, what would you tell your younger self? And it was something like, you know, you are good enough. And I think it really hit home for me. And I was almost in tears, you know, and that simple little phrase might not mean much to people, but for me at that time, it meant an awful lot because as, you know, athletes, we can be our own worst enemy and very, very self-critical. And actually having her say that was almost like somebody telling me that as well. Um, so that kind of was really, really quite personal and quite uh, important. But 
you know, it's, it's quite difficult to kind of say, oh, these ones are definitely the specific ones I kind of enjoy because every single one I enjoy. I love listening to people's stories and journeys and just hearing them out. And it's actually really quite reflective and restorative as well because it puts things into perspective for you. Lauren, who is your most favorite and notable interview you've interviewed? <laughs> oh, that's such a hard question, Brandon. Um, I've, like I say, I love chatting to everyone. So there's no specific one that stands out particularly I genuinely take something from every episode obviously having my mum and my auntie on uh, different points that was that was pretty cool because I started swimming because of those two like seeing them at the Olympics or not seeing them I wasn't here on this planet but watching it on YouTube afterwards and just hearing about my auntie swimming and stuff just that's what really like obviously got me into swimming and, and my mum and stuff like that. So those were really special. Um, Hannah, Hannah's episode was exciting for me because we knew that she was going to join the podcast, but we hadn't mentioned it. So we just did a normal episode to start with. Um, and I had said this multiple times everywhere on, on the podcast, but just also in general life, I'll go around telling everyone, but Hannah was like, just, I used to watch Hannah on TV um before I got onto the GB team and was just like well Hannah Miley so then to like obviously become friends with Hannah through making the team and then beyond that like just just doing this wonderful thing and having fun doing it and getting to speak to really cool people with with someone like that it's it's pretty special but don't tell her I said that because we don't want her head to get any bigger than it needs to be you know she's a dame now she got knighted yesterday so you know yeah. <laughs> she did she did she just doesn't are, want to tell anyone what are y'all's favorite memories and moments with doing the podcast I think just actually listening to Lauren for me is like what conversation and what kind of jokes you'll come up with because you've just got such fresh yeah. energy so it's normally right how what, what's Lauren gonna say today <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you never know what's going to come next on, from the questions, but uh, that that's a really tough one, isn't it, Hannah? Because mm. like we've said, it's we have interviewed some incredible people. I think for me, and I know Hannah's already mentioned this, but seeing the effect that Charlene's one-liner had on Hannah when she just retired from swimming itself and seeing how much that affected her and in a positive way I think that was really special that will always stand out to me and that's why I said when I was going through everyone that we've had you know that was a that was a good one for for Hannah and a special one because it I, I saw the emotion and it was amazing to actually see you know how maybe this podcast not just helps us but helps everyone hopefully listening as well so I think moments like that, when you get messages that say this really helped me or, you know, I, I've, I've been able to kind of manage things a little bit better or, you know, I, I swam really well because I listened to that story. Um, it's just those moments, really, I think, that are the best for us. We're starting off with you, Hannah. Who would be your dream interview to interview? Um, oh, good grief. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if I got an answer for that one. Um, it would be, oh, for, for me, my, my ultimate idol in swimming was Misty Hyman. I would love to interview her uh, just because I could just sit and fangirl her all the time. <laughs> I was going to say for you, I was going to say, I bet you're going to, but I thought, no, I'll leave. I'll keep it in that her <laughs> <laughs> We um, should have done each other's. We should have done. Yeah, that would have been really cool, actually. <laughs> so, Hannah, who's mine then? Oh, jeepers. Uh... He's got a home in Paris and in Orlando. Oh, jeepers. And I think California. Three houses. My brain's gone blank. Billionaire. Billionaire. Um... He's in quite a few films. <laughs> I was going to say Stan Lee. <laughs> But he's not it's not here anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse. No, yep. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Disney guy. Because you got your Mickey Mouse. Big Disney. Uh, yeah, big Disney fan. Uh, I think did you is that your answer, Miss Misty Hyman? 
yeah because at the minute i can't like all these names keep cropping cropping up into my head and it's like every single one it would just be like a dream come true sort of thing so i'll go with misty because i guess that's like my sort of sporting idol and kind of seems like a, a, an obvious one for me to go f- for but yeah <laughs> like that. that's a good answer i like that what's yours Do you know what I think? I'm, I know it's going to sound oh, okay, but I, I would I would love to chat to Phelps because I just think he he you know how you manage. I mean I don't even think I've got that many club championship medals, never mind Olympic ones. So you know, um, it's just incredible how his mindset and how he kind of got through and they didn't get through and they did get through and you know I mean what a roller coaster to just ask about and just not just find out that stuff but you know how life is now and how he found transitioning out of swimming and just just or and, and how many calories he did actually eat because everyone always says you know did you see I don't know if there's a video or a book he ate a million calories every day and I just don't quite believe it so I want to know I want to know of course what are some of y'all's future plans with the honest athletes podcast Lauren <laughs> <laughs> um I don't have any that's probably the 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 most important thing because it's so relaxed when me and Hannah feel like oh we're missing it or oh we've got some athletes we'd love to chat to or oh we then go do you fancy doing it and then we go yeah why not and and then we kind of just go with the flow so future plans you know just again going with the flow speaking to amazing people and just seeing what happens really um I don't have any specific plans I don't know about you Hannah I kind of go with the flow with Lauren um I think you've had a couple of requests from people asking specifically to use as a platform to get certain messages out um so kind of happy obliged obviously making sure that it still fits within the value of uh of your podcast but so far Mm -hmm. I think those requests have been like that so um mm-hmm. yeah it just I don't know, it is it's just very very relaxed <laughs> it's a bit too relaxed isn't it Anna? We need to out. <laughs> maybe we need a meeting about it <laughs> <laughs> should we have a coffee yeah, yeah. <laughs> a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give those people that are former athletes looking to get into the podcast industry lauren i think you're probably the best person to speak on that one actually do you know what if you only do it if you enjoy it because you know it's it's a lot of work you, you see the, the episodes getting released and stuff and the 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 actual interview is amazing but outside of that then you've obviously got to sort it out I mean you know Brandon you know you've got to obviously then edit everything and and do the snippet and you know get the graphics ready and all that kind of stuff and so you've got to love the process and you've got to love chatting to people so if you love it and you you know you've got either a team or you do it on your own whatever that is um just just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons because if you're not it, you won't it won't come across well it won't I don't know if our podcast comes across well but we've had some lovely feedback and the most important thing is Hannah and I both enjoy it and and we're really good friends so it actually just it's really easy like you know if one of us looks like we're a bit stumped for a question we can jump in and and help each other out or you know it, it's it's actually really nice to have I, I feel like our approaches as well and and the way we are in interviewing we have we kind of complement each other a lot Hannah will bring in the fancy words that I will nod and go yeah I agree and is very knowledgeable and just fantastic to to ask these questions and and have that conversation with whereas I just you know I just I just bring the humor I think uh mainly I don't have the the big words but um I do have the uh I do have the editing skills to sort it out after as well so um I just think honestly for me I have so much fun doing it and you know when when Jazz moved on to her next the next stage of what she was up to it was like a no-brainer of like right who else do I get on really well with who is an amazing athlete but more so an amazing person that I know it'll work so again just know that you enjoy it and and if you need to have someone there as well to make it that little bit more enjoyable then do it but I don't know yeah you've got to love it 
course, what yeah. advice would y'all give people that are professional athletes looking to get into the podcast industry? Starting off with you, Hannah. Um, I think it's an interest. I think you you have to be interested in what you're you're talking about. Um, so you know the people that we kind of bring on, uh, you know, for for us especially, like we're interested in their story and we're interested in hearing what they have to say. Whereas I think if you're just wanting to talk and just talk for the sake of talking, I think if you have passion for it, I think it's through in the podcast much better. Um, and as Lauren says, whether you do it on your own or do it with a partnership, I think that, you know, you both have, if you do it in a partnership, you both have to be interested in what you're talking about because it will come across, I guess, very clearly if you're not interested in it. Um, but yeah, it kind of reiterating what um, Lauren had, had said, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort, especially in the post-production side. So if you have a, you know, professional athlete doing it, it's making sure time management is key. Um, it's, if people can make money from it, but, you know, the main aim for us was just the, the stories behind it. You know, we're not looking to like earn millions from it. it would be awesome, but <laughs> that's not kind of the main reason. <laughs> uh, unless we're making a massive trick here. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, you know, for, for professional athletes, I guess it has to be something that they're interested in, something that can fit in with their, I guess, their training time. So it's not an additional burden or an additional thing that's going to maybe impact what they're currently doing. Um, but I think keeping it quite relaxed and kind of free flowing and taking feedback as well, I think is really important. So, you know, getting that first episode out and seeing what people's feedback is, if it's good, great, you know, improve on it. But even if it's not great, you know, find out ways, you know, it's a bit like your self-reflection from a, you know, a game or a race, you know, you work on the areas that you can improve on to take it forward and, um, you know, hopefully make it better because the way that you intend it to start with, it will grow and it will be, different in a good way uh to, to kind of where you maybe expect it to go but i think definitely the key thing would be um making sure that you're interested in the topics that you're going to be talking about and interested in the direction of where it's going lauren what advice would you give professional athletes looking to get started i think hannah took my answer all of them so um honestly i don't i don't know if there's any other ad advice for for it really as long as you enjoy it um, you're doing it for the right reasons and you know you've got a good team or you know what you're doing yourself I think that's about it you've just got to know you want to do it I don't stop talking so it's not this easy for me but if you're quite introverted and you're not interested and you're just doing it for the wrong reasons there's there's no point but um, um, yeah we just we just enjoy ourselves we have a good time that's great advice. Where can my listeners find the podcast at on social media along with both of y'all at on social media? So Hannah is at Dame Hannah Miley on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry. At Hannah Montana. No, that's no, not. Okay. Uh, at Miley Cyrus. No, that's no. not the one. <laughs> uh, at Smiley Miley. So Smiley triple eight nine on Instagram. Smiley triple eight nine. Um, and I will be at Lauren A. Quigley or Quigley Sport. Uh, Hannah's, Hannah's actually, before we get to the honest athletes, Hannah's new brand is? Typically, at what? Typically 28. I don't want to get it wrong, but I, I'm <laughs> sure you did on your post the other day. Uh, yeah, I think, well, no, uh, I yeah. need to double check. <laughs> Please it's double check that because I don't think I that's will. your brand. So check that one. And then uh, for the Honest Athletes podcast, it's at The Honest Athletes, I think. I'm sure. Yeah, at The Honest Athletes. And then on Spotify, it's just the same, The Honest Athletes. Um, yeah. We are on Apple and um, something. YouTube. YouTube on YouTube. Uh, yeah. But I think I think that's it. That's where we are, isn't it? Yeah. But the main one, at Dame Hannah Miley. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you again, Hannah, Miley, and and Lauren for your interview, and best of luck in your future with the Honest Athletes podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Lauren and Hannah, for your interview, and best of luck in your future. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, 
Share and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.